Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Retro Motorcycle Blog. Here's the contrast now. I've waited uh, several years to be able to film this and show everyone the contrast between uh, in the foreground is uh, the 1983 Yamaha XJ 900 that's been modified with the turbo Seca fairing. And then in the background is the stock 1983 Yamaha XJ900. So that kind of gives you an idea of the difference between the two. Again on your right is the Turbo Seca fairing modified, we call it the SST for short or an acronym for Standard Sport Touring. We took a standard uh, motorcycle by the definition of the day and we turned it into a sport touring model. And the benefits of the 900 that few people know about, although it was a one year model only, had a 5.8 fuel tank, had shaft drive, had twin shocks which really make it easy to get to them and then to replace them. The other benefit of the stock bike, it had the adjustable handlebars. While they weren't very good in its day, it was one of the first applications of using that. It has self-canceling turn signals. It has a big fuel gauge, so you know what's going on. It also has air assist front forks. Which a lot of uh, the newer bikes have come back to now, especially the sport touring models. Of course we have all of that on the SST, just with the added benefit of having the sport touring uh, fairing. And this fairing was developed by Yamaha, especially for the Turbo Seca. Did a lot of wind tunnel testing with it. And so it's a very, very well designed fairing that helps deflect the air. Now you'll also notice the difference in the SST, there are different rotors on it versus the stock rotors. The stock rotors have a real tendency to warp and the reason why they do is because they're considered the vented rotors. You see the spacing in here, that's called vented rotor. And while it was a great idea for longevity, they just didn't work very good. They just warped, and you'll have to have them replaced. So that's the difference between those two. And then, of course, you can see with the chrome headers, that's the way the bike came. On this bike we just purchased, uh, the former owner, for whatever reason, decided to paint them black, which just looks horrible, horrible, horrible. Anyway, this is the bike that we've, for the last two or three years, have been talking about on the website. And we've been sharing with the world the improvements that can be made just by taking some uh, parts that I had left over from a 1982 Yamaha 650 Turbo Seca restoration that I did. And we adapted them. So that's... Uh, both of them now have uh, the stock seat. This seat on the SST has been rebuilt by uh, Saddleman's out of Florida. And this fuel tank has been recoded. The fuel tank on the standard uh, uh, 900 has no problems whatsoever, so it's going to be good to go. And then the uh, stock bike has the stock shocks which uh, I've just confirmed on some short test rides. They're just trash and they also leak. You can already see the seals have gone. And then on the SST we have the full-blown Racetech shocks and what a difference uh, those make along with the uh, gold emulators on the front end. The surprising thing that I will tell you the difference of is uh, on the SST these are Dunlops, if I can rotate them there for you, and on the stock bike, the owner had just, uh, nice of him to do this, 
I just put Bridgestones. Let's see if I can rotate this. Uh, is it pronounced Batlax? BT45s. Uh, and here's the surprising thing these uh, Bridgestones are such a better tire. Even with this beat up suspension and this bike basically being stock, it wants to really throw itself down the road very well. It turns in better than the SST, and the only thing that I can attribute that to is the tires. So we'll switch out the uh, tires on the uh, the SST when they get worn out. We'll go with uh, the Bridgestones, and I think we'll see a much better uh, an upgrade in in the performance. You'll also notice, uh, I hope the camera picks it up, but the stock color uh, of the uh, 900 is a brighter color, and on the SST it's kind of a, a deeper red. Uh, I'm not sure having bikes side by side now which one is more appealing to me, but uh, now that I see it I can tell that the painter didn't follow the paint code like he should have. So there is a difference there, but they both are great, great performing bikes. I highly recommend them to anyone. A lot of fun, these old standard bikes, especially when you take and do some upgrades. A lot of folks are putting, uh, uh, doing a total swap on the front forks with inverted forks, putting on uh, big fat rear tires and a different swing arm. A lot of different stuff you can do to them. Uh, they're great old bikes, and they'll serve you for years. Enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.